So maybe your New Year's resolution was to start moving every day or to meditate and now it's February practically and you haven't done it yet. Well, it's never too late. It doesn't have to be a January 1st or bust resolution. We can begin today together. So let's start at the top of our mat. touched, heels slightly apart. Feeling your feet here as you transition the weight back to your heels, maybe all 10 toes lift. And then start to shift your weight forward with a little more weight into the toes versus the heels. Shifting over to the right. And now over to your left. And find the middle. You might need to go back and forth, left to right, to find your center. But once you feel like you're right there in the middle, pause and notice. And you'll quickly see how you steadily move constantly to stay balanced. These very small movements in your feet and ankles so you can be aligned. And on your next inhale, sweep your arms up, maybe palms touch at the top. Exhale, softening your knees as you forward fold. I'm sliding your hands up to your shins on the inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you bring both hands to the ground and step into your high plank. Hi, Kimmy. <laughs> and we're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, knees come down as you shift your weight forward and draw the chest and chin down. Bring all your body down to the ground pushing the 10 toes down as you inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Let's move with our breath here as we inhale, rise again. Exhale, lower. One more cobra pose, really push the feet into the ground, inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Drawing your sit bones back to your heels for child's pose. Downward facing dog. We'll do five breaths here. So usually for my first down dog of the day, I like to bend one knee as the opposite heel draws down and then switch direction. I typically have pretty tight hamstrings and calves in the morning. So this is a really nice way to gently find a little more space in the back of the leg. One more breath, inhaling here. Exhale, bend both knees, looking forward and tiptoe yourself all the way back to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Inhale, sweeping the ground away as your arms rise. Exhale, hands release to your sides, mountain pose. Find your center again. Find the stillness within your breath. I still have a little congestion, so I notice that here, that my breath can't go as deep. So notice what you notice. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, soften your knees, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands can go to shins or keep your fingertips on the ground. Exhale, stepping back, high plank. And this time lowering both elbows down to the ground for forearm plank. And noticing the space behind your shoulders, 
the space behind the heart. Can you push it up a little bit more, creating a dome there for three, two, one. Exhale, knees down, hips down, sphinx pose. Come on, come here. You're right in my way, honey. And while we have our elbows down to the ground, try to pull the chest through so the shoulders aren't dumping forward. They're peeling back. And then bend the left knee. And then drop it back down to the earth. Switching sides, right knee bends. And drop back down, doing some hamstring curls here. One more on each side. Both legs release down to the ground. As you drop the chest, bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes and lift yourself up into downward facing dog. Inhale, setting your right leg up high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick your foot back up. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale. Exhale, twisting to your left elbow. Inhale, kick it back up one more time. Exhale, bring the foot through. High lunge, crescent lunge on the inhale, rise. And wouldn't even here, finding stillness within your feet. Noticing your breath. Inhale, lengthening the front leg. Exhale, hovering. Inhale, exhale, let's do one more, inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend sure. the knee. I'm not sure. I did not talk to you, Alexa. <laughs> As you bring your hands down behind your back, interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, come down halfway, resting your chest on your thigh. Steady gaze. For two, one, exhale, release your hands down to the ground, take the right leg up to the sky, this time stacking the hips, right hip over left. Notice the left heel if it's lifted or if you're able to bring it down to the ground. Let's play with that a little bit, lifting it and bringing it back down one more time and then come to the area where you can drop the heel down the most. Inhale. Exhale, drawing the right foot through in between your hands once again, pivoting the back heel down to the ground as we inhale, come up for warrior one. And we're gonna repeat what we did in our crescent lunge where we inhale, straighten the front knee, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. You're gonna notice that back edge of the back foot wants to lift, keep it pressed down. Don't let the pinky sides lift. One more time, coming deep into your knee bent. Inhale, exhale, releasing the hands once again behind the back. Inhale, exhale, humble warrior. So you might be able to fold forward a little deeper than you did with your back heel lifted, because now the back heel provides a little more stability into the ground. And releasing your hands down to the ground, walking to the outer edge off the mat for an extension of the spine. So it's sort of like we're in a hybrid of downward facing dog and an extended side angle. Slowly walking your hands towards the center. Both feet pivot, toes pointing the same direction. Hands under shoulders as you inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands to hips. Holding here for five. And just like we were doing in our warrior one, really pushing out through the side edge, the pinky side edge of our feet 
and then drawing the belly button up and in for two and one for fold hinging or softening the knees here shaking your head yes or no a few times and just as we did in mountain pose finding the center of our feet leaning our weight back into our heels as our ten toes lift and then shifting the weight forward into our toes it's a little scarier here because if we fall over we will somersault and then finding the center where is that inhale coming up halfway full exhale and then walking our hands towards the back of our mat and then kicking that left leg up high for three-legged downward dog. Keeping the hips square on an inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kicking it back up high. Exhale to your left elbow. Inhale. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale, bringing the foot as close as you can in between the hands. If it only comes halfway, that's okay. Scoot it forward, heel toe it forward. And then inhale, rise into your crescent lunge. Whew. Back heel, lifts over the toes as you sink a little deeper into your front knee. Inhale, rise. Straightening the front knee. Exhale, bend. Do that two more times. Inhale. Exhale. I'm trying to keep the knee towards center. It's going to naturally wobble left to right as I slowly build a little more strength for stability in my knee joints. And then dropping my hands behind my back, other pinky on top, so it's going to feel a little awkward. Inhale. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Exhale. Coming down halfway chest or belly to thigh hands lift for three two one bring your hands down to the ground three-legged downward dog this time stacking the hips left over right then we're going to lift the back heel and lower it back down inhale lift exhale one more Inhale, send that top leg up a little higher. Exhale, as you bring it through, pivot the back heel down. Warrior one. Palms facing each other. And let's lengthen and straighten the front knee. Exhale, really moving with intention with our breath today. Exhale. Inhale one more time. Exhale, warrior one. Find your hands behind your back as you inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, bowing forward. Humble warrior. Once again, pushing out through that <laughs> pinky side edge of your back foot. And see if you can really allow your head and neck to soften here. And over time, your hands will move further away from your body, up into the sky, and then eventually closer to the ground. Exhale as you release your hands down to the ground, walking them to the right corner, and then pushing the hips back as you start to straighten the spine. So working for a straight spine all the way from the lumbar through the thoracic and the cervical. If you want to bring your palms down, go ahead. I like to stay lifted on my fingertips. It allows me to push my hips back and create a little more space. And then slowly walking yourself back to the right and to the center. And this time we're going to pivot our heels in and toes out, coming up halfway, hands to hips, and slowly rise. Whew. All right, let's go into some Devi Asana goddess pose here. So 
My stance is a little wide for what I prefer. I like my legs just a little bit closer, so not into my full wide-legged or warrior two kind of stance where they're a little bit wider, but sort of halfway between a narrow stance and a wide stance. And you'll play with it and figure out what feels more stable in your body. Starting to bend your knees and bring the palms up to the sky. Finding center here. So I already noticed immediately I'm leaning more into the backside edge of my foot, but I want to feel more engagement in my inner thighs here because otherwise I'm really acting on the outer thigh glute region, but I wanna have equanimity within my body. So I start to lean my weight more towards the middle where I'm not collapsing, because you have some people who will bring the knees in. I want them right over the ankles if possible. Ooh, yes, there we go, sit a little bit lower. So you might feel like, oh, my feet are a little too close together or too wide. You can always readjust, right? Give yourself that permission. And so maybe you're feeling it already, you're feeling the burn. If you need a little bit more of a challenge, lift the right heel off the ground. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then bring it back down. Let's switch sides. And then bring that back down. Okay, maybe we stay here or maybe we lift both heels at the same time. And it's not too risky of a move because if you fall, it's right there, right? Not too scary, not a high risk high pain threshold. All right, we're gonna be here for five more seconds. How's your breath? Is it still there? Lift your heels a little higher if you can. Exhale lower, ooh, oh my goodness. I feel that. <laughs> oh yes, okay. Let's find ourselves back to the front of our mat. Back into our mountain pose where we began so we can begin again. The practice of yoga is learning how to begin again. Every day is a new day. You might show up on your mat and move for five minutes and you're good. And the next day you might need an hour. Every day is a new day for you to fill your body and notice your breath walking your feet mat distance apart here, or not mat distance, sorry, hip distance apart here. <coughs> and then slowly coming down into your low squat, Malasana pose. So you can have your toes angled out slightly. Some people like to have their toes facing forward. <laughs> Once again, it's personal preference. You'll find this is common in my cueing. What works for you will not work for everybody. We are all built slightly different. We have longer legs, a different flexibility, and so all these components combine to form you and your, your uniqueness. So value that, be appreciative of that, and work with your personal edge. So while we're here pushing your palms together, pushing your elbows into your knees and your knees into your elbows to lift the chest. Inhale as you open your arms out wide. If you're lucky, the one hand closest to the ground can push into the ground to give you a little bit more of a twist along the side body. And then exhale as you come back to your center. Just switch sides. You can see I dip that left shoulder to bring my arm underneath. And the top arm reaches up. One more breath. Exhale, bringing the hands back down. While we're down here, why not go into crow for a little bit, hey? Okay, hands come down. Point your finger, pointing forward. Shoulder distance apart. Begin to lift those hips. Let's do them a few times as you drop the hips. Lift the hips, drop the hips lift the hips keep those hips lifted and now take your knees to the top as close as you can to your shoulders it might have to rest along the tricep that's all right and then start to lean yourself forward lean your weight forward and then come back down okay so we're gonna do that again lift the hips knees go up high shift your weight forward on your toes exhale back down so it's just a little bit of movement lift the hips knees high shift your weight forward all right, let's do it one more time as we come down. 
Stable, lift the hips. And then maybe lean so far forward that you're able to lift the left toes. And then come back down, all the way back down to your squat. Let's play with momentum again, shifting the weight up and forward. Right toes draw up and back down. Okay, we felt that, let's do one more time. Hands come down, hips lift, knees high. Shift the weight forward, look forward, look forward, look forward. Maybe one foot lifts, maybe both feet lift. And you fly like a crow. Keep looking forward, find that spreadingness, that dome in the upper back. And hold here for as long as you can. It might be one second, it might be half a second. It might be 10 seconds. And exhale, come back down. Welcome. All right, let's come all the way down to a seat and onto our backs. <sighs> Giving ourselves a hug here. You did so good. Celebrate your success. Whatever step you were on, how strong, how motivated you are. Reaching your arms out wide. And I like to scoot my hips over to the right a few inches as my knees then fall over to the left. And then gazing to the right here for a supine twist. Shifting your gaze back up, switching sides, scooting the hips over, knees fall to the right, and slightly gaze to your left. Starting to slow down your breath. Beautiful. Inhale. Coming back up. Laying on your back as you give yourself one more hug. Keeping your head on the ground. Softening the shoulders. Relaxing your jaw. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out from the mouth. One more time. And then releasing your legs long, arms down to your sides. Puffing the chest up here as we come to our Shavasana. Just as you found stillness when you were standing on your feet from the back heel to the front, to the right, to the left. Find your center here. Not only physically, but with your breath. Equal parts inhale to equal parts exhale. Equal parts lift to equal parts grounding. And feel free to stay here as long as you need. And I hope to see you again. Have a lovely, lovely day. Namaste. You know the drill. Share with your friends.
click the subscribe button and comment and love below. Thank you.